Welcome back, everybody, to the Man of Bros channel. It's your boy, Viggo Nuggets, and with me is my boy. Yo, what is up? It's Eagleheart. How are you guys doing? And I just want to say, first of all, thank you, everybody, so much for all the love on the Man of Bros channel recently. We've been getting a lot of new subscribers, so if you guys are new, welcome. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, Eagleheart and I have a lot of Star Wars content coming your way, guys, uh, with Mando Season 3 coming up in about two more weeks, which we're all very hyped for that. We are very hyped. And uh, Jedi Survivor coming up in April, so we're going to try to throw some other little bits of videos here and there, but I uh, just want to say thank you and welcome to the Mando Bros channel, everybody. Now, um, I just want to say real fast, those past two episodes from last week were, in my opinion, again, one of the some of the best animated Star Wars that we've ever gotten. And then that's like, it's like in my top three moments. Those, those two episodes were just so beautiful man beautiful 100 percent. and that whole vibe you got when palpatine showed up yep oh, oh. and then just i already knew as soon as he showed up I was like he, they're gonna he's gonna flip it on them he's gonna flip yep. it on them and he just freaking like oh man that just shows like how palpatine has always been three five ten steps ahead of everybody from the jedi to you know the senators to just every what does this man not have prepared? Yep. He's always just ahead. It was just just an amazing episode. I just want to say again, just beautiful. So I'm wondering how this episode's going to come up with just how amazing uh, episode eight, seven, and eight were. But yeah. we'll see it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And Eagle Heart, let's get right to today's let's episode. Remember, we don't, we don't have Echo anymore. He's out there with Rex fighting the good cause. Fighting the good fight. Right. A vault. Mm -hmm. Why does this remind me of uh, Fallout? Pokemon, well, po or Fallout too, but Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> the big ass vault. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Poachers. Interesting. I wonder. Locals. Yeah. Scavengers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go, Omega. It's a big ass drill. Yeah. He just drops that shit like that. I thought it was on. Yeah, it's, if it's unstable, it's gonna blow up. Bro, just hijacked their ship? Damn. Stampede. Long live the king. Like right? a... <laughs> yeah, this is literally like a Lion King reference. What, yeah. Look at this. These are like antelopes. Just like... <laughs> it's like literally a, li uh, a Lion King reference. Long live the king. Oh, yeah, look, they're in. Bro, and they're going on the same little branch that he was on. Bro. Oh. Mufasa. <laughs> That's literally what I'm thinking. But he dropped the package. If you notice, Tech is being a little bit more mouthy and, like, more outgoing than what yeah. he used to be before. More... More like, um, I, instead of being, t I mean, I, he's still techie and like super, oh shit, that was a big ass rock. You see that? <laughs> Only Wrecker would survive that hit. Yeah, it just, <laughs> damn, look at that. The storm scene. <laughs> Even Wrecker's like, come on, genius. <laughs> right. He's being that typical genius that. What's that? What's that word? He doesn't care about other people's emotions. Yeah. Just says what it says. What if? What if this is where we start to see a little bit of more force sensitivity from Omega? That'd be interesting. Oh, 
Okay. Tech. There we go, Tech. No question dived in. That's what I wanted to see. Right. He couldn't go back and tell the guys. Might as well jump too. Yep. Damn, this is the first time we we ever seen like tech yeah. be this emotional. And the fact that he brought up Crosshair saying that it still like hurts him just as much, you know, that Crosshair had dipped out as well. Yeah. I want to say this episode, um, it, it was nice. Um, I like the, the, emo the emotional aspect with tech and, and then, yes. and how they brought up Crosshair. Like, cause we had, they haven't really, besides the episode we saw with Crosshair, like they haven't even brought it up. And the fact that mm -hmm. he brought it up in that sense where it's like, you know. You know, like, hey, you know, I do miss them. We miss what uh, I miss them, and but it's you know they did they, they chose their own path, you know, and we're on our own path. So, um, and it it kind of shows why he's a little bossy, like he's in a way handling, hurt. yeah, handling. hurt and handling his his emotions like that. So mm -hmm. I, I like that about Tech because I we've never seen him like that at all. Tech, not one bit. And I love that character progression with Tech so far. It's been so yeah. it's been so nice to see him. Really progress from just like that little tech savvy dude that's always on his on his phone and you know and just doing this and that to like maybe someone who's like opening himself up a little bit more and and, and doing different. So I like I like that a lot of the episode. Then we have the old Lion King reference on here as well. Love that. That was good. <laughs> that was a good one. But besides that, like oh. Uh... But it also was showing Wrecker even getting moody. Yeah, uh, uh, towards him too about what's towards going on with the Becca. You know, yeah, it, it kind of like this shows that with Crosshair leaving, Echo leaving, everyone's just at this like impasse, this crossing. They don't know what they're going to do. Exactly. Oh, you know, and hey, that kind of really fits the title too. Yeah, that that just that crossing, that impasse, like you said, just like what's gonna happen? Are they gonna keep losing more people? Or is you know what's gonna you know what's going on? Like what's what's their path and and, yeah. and, and and that's a good question to ask. So I'm really hoping that from this point forward, we get to really see that in, in the next a couple episodes because we are, there are 16 episodes. Uh, um, so we got about what, like seven, seven, left. seven left. So I'm hoping this leads to some nice little things. Honestly, I would give this episode a nice uh, seven. I was going to say like a six, seven out of ten because uh, – I thought it was pretty good. I was gonna give it like a seven and a half. Almost, yeah, just because of how it the uh, the emotions were coming in touch with everyone and the whole Lion King and the <laughs> mystery. Yeah, nah, and 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 I like it. I just think it was like I mean, it's it's slow. It's building us up for something yeah. else to come later on. Now that their ship was stolen, so I wonder. Well, I I I genuinely I feel like the kid flew into the storm. And he didn't fly out into space, so I still think he's in the planet. I don't think he escaped, like, out off-world. I think he's still on the planet. That's my prediction on that. I think the kid's still on the planet, and that they're eventually going to figure out or see some shit going on that's, that happens there. Um, I think it's kind of messed up for Sid to be like, you're on your own. Uh, I genuinely feel that Sid might double cross him or so at, at, or something i i that's how, that's the vibe i'm getting a little I bit don't know. i would have expected this would have been a good spot for the double cross leaving him on that planet but i don't know i have a feeling omega has her soft side yeah because she kept looking at her when he kept talking about like we need help and this this and that All right she yeah. kept like kind of staring at her yeah i know this is just kind of messed up like hey y'all on your own like bro like uh Tech was even saying, like, we did all this stuff for you. We helped you settle debts. We did all this shit. And then you're just going to leave us high and dry. So, right. I don't know. Just like what his name told, said that she would. Yep. Yep, exactly. So, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe she's not all all fully with them. Just using yep. them. A means, you know, to an end, kind of, with the Bad Batch. Guarantee that's what she's doing. Uh, that That's that's how I'm feeling right now with that. But, uh but besides that, it was still a good episode. Like I said, it was going to be hard to follow up those past two episodes that we got. Like, it was just going to be a hard episode to kind of follow up. 
because uh, I feel like maybe others were or like even myself. I was thinking we're gonna start we're gonna start picking up the pace a little bit more. You know what I mean with with uh with with what what they were trying to do. But either way, still a solid episode in my opinion. Yes. But yeah, guys. So not let us disappointed. That's no. for sure. Yeah, not disappointed. Still a solid episode. Uh, but I'm hoping we get some more stuff picking up with the with the bad batch coming up. Um, but uh. But with besides that, guys, uh, let us know your thoughts on this episode today, um, and get ready for Mando season three. I just cannot wait for that. We're gonna have some other videos coming up on also why Dave Filoni pretty much gave uh, Grogu uh, to Mando so quickly, and he left Luke really quickly. Uh, Eagle Heart and I are gonna be talking about that as well in the video coming up for you guys to get prepared for season three. So I uh, hope you guys are ready for all that content and Eagle Heart. Let's go ahead and send these people out. May the force be with you where this is the way. Thank you, everybody.